Hollis Williams has no idea where he will be sleeping tonight. Well, I sometimes go from place to place. Um, some days I never know who I'm going to stay with. But having a place to sleep is not the only thing he needs. This morning, Williams and 1,000 other homeless people found some help at Eugene's first ever Project Homeless Connect. Today I'm here to get a haircut and to eat. Project Homeless Connect was a one-day event that brought dozens of Lane County's service providers under one roof in order to make them more accessible to the homeless. I think a lot of people who are homeless are going to figure out that the community cares about them and that there are services available to them, there are opportunities for them, and all they have to do is access them. Participating agencies offer dental and vision exams, immunizations, housing advice, haircuts, free meals, entertainment, and more, all in one location. I just, I can't believe that there's so much help for the needy and the homeless. Project Homeless Connect was first started in San Francisco. Since 2004, 32 cities across the United States have organized similar events. Eugene is the latest city to join the nationwide effort. In Eugene alone, it is estimated that 1,200 people are homeless on any given night. Really the number is much larger than that. A lot of the homeless are very hidden. Sometimes people are couch surfing, they're staying at someone's house for a night or they're renting a motel room. But during the course of a year, somewhere between six and 9,000 people get some sort of services for being homeless. Out in the community, there's a lack of awareness about the homelessness issue. And even friends of mine um, don't really understand how people become homeless and what it's like to be homeless. Williams became homeless in 2002 when he was evicted from his apartment shortly after losing his job. He applied for subsidized housing three years ago and has been on a waiting list ever since. Project Homeless Connect organizers hope the event will help individuals like Williams find a stable home. But even if he didn't find housing today, Hollis Williams was satisfied. I had a wonderful time. Yeah, it was, it was great. Got a haircut, got a free meal, and I think I'm all set to go. For Oregon News, this is Rebecca Puris.